Yer, how you doing, guys? Welcome back to this back at it. I mean, I have this 2015 Jeep Compass, uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do the front brakes. All right. Um, don't forget to support the channel. You know what I'm saying, I'm gonna say it again. Support the channel, please. Put the put the tip on the table. Yummy. You know I mean? uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. And uh, uh, hit the bell every time I upload something new. You're gonna be the first one to know. Hit the like button. Uh, share this video and the feedback. Put in the comment box for me. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, just put it in the comment box below. Get yeah, that I mean, let's go. Let's get it. All right, come with me like a pro. Get it. Yeah. We want to remove the uh, lug nuts, all right? With a 19 millimeter socket. Shout out to Pittsburgh. Giddy. All right. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do the magic. We're gonna do the magic. Ah. Now we remove the tire. So yeah, this is what we have, all right? I don't know if uh, you, you could hear me in the beginning. I said this is a 2015 Jeep Compass, all right? Just so you know, all right? Because I have a lot of noise in the background, so we're gonna do a lot of bit of work here. We're gonna clean all that. This is the this is the guy right here, the caliper, the bracket. We have a bolt right here. We have another bolt over here, okay? If you come to the back, we have this right here, one, two, all right? That's pretty much it with this one. I'm gonna let you know uh, what size socket we're gonna use here and here, okay? For those, all right? Yes, sir. All right, right here, we're gonna come through with a 14 millimeter socket. Lose this too. Yeah, me. Ooh. Now remember this, the one with the rubber goes up and the one without it goes down. Yeah. Right? Now we're gonna remove this guy right here. Probably gonna have to pry it. It's starting to be difficult. But definitely have to come out, yeah you know I mean? Grab the pry bar. Just like that. Up and down, wiggle it. Did it? Now some people might say, oh yo, don't let the uh, caliper drop like that because you're gonna ruin this. It's true, but I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, so. If you're that picky, please don't do that. And I'm saying don't drop the caliper like that because you might uh, mess up this, okay? This is light though, this is, it does light work, you know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna remove the brake pads, just like that. If you don't know how they go, uh, when you uh, put the new ones, just put it like this. But, grab the other one, this one has a clip. It's kind of like a sensor. When you don't have no more brake pad, ceramic, whatever you want to call it, this thing is going to let you know. And that's that's how you're going to hear the, the squeak sound. Okay, then the other one you put it there, and that's how you can tell this one goes inside and this one goes to uh, outside. Giddy. Now we have more space to hit this. This too. Yeah, me. That's going to be 18 millimeter. Suck it. We're gonna come through with the swivel. Shout outs to Astro. Like that, ba. Just like that, ba. This one too. Hey! And there's your bracket right there, all right? Now it's up to you if you wanna remove those uh, brackets and put the new ones. If uh, the new brake pads come with it. Okay, the whole kit. Okay, I might use the new ones. Why not? 
some people might say, no, don't use the new ones because once you put everything back, it's gonna make a sound. You know how I can tell it's not gonna make a sound? You see this guy right there? That clip? That clip is gonna hold it to, to, the, uh, to the outside, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I can tell it's not gonna make a sound. All right? So I'm gonna remove this, just like that clean that and clean this so the new bracket sits good right there okay now before I get into the cleaning the brackets and all that you see this guy right here these chips have like a old ring here if they don't then it's all good all right all the way around rust you don't have to do this you just like hit it with a hammer and it's gonna come out I just want to see if there's an old ring in, in here so I don't force the old ring because the new uh, the brake kit doesn't come with a uh, old ring okay not on this one okay I'm gonna get this out this is what I do though Bang. Bang, bang, bang. to come out now. Just like that. Oh. Overheated. Okay. For the thumbnail. In this case, we got the brackets yeah me then we had the pads these are the new ones and they come with the clips with the clips with the grease with the grease yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the uh, the, the bracket and put the new uh, Guys, yeah, me about this guy right here. I'm gonna spray some WD 40, all right, just to break all that rust all the way around, all right, and then brush it, okay. Pretty much, then. Press on brake cleaner just to remove that WD-40 because I'm gonna put the anti-seize. All right, this guy right here. Now it's dry. That that didn't dry fast. Now just put this around. Just like that. Now I mean, this rotors come with uh, some grease, so wipe it or spray some brake cleaner so you get rid of that grease. On, okay, and install it. Very much. If you have too much there, just wipe it. Doesn't hurt. Now I'm gonna clean these brackets. Okay, remove remove it. This is how it looks like now, right? Brush it and see how it looks like after. Uh, this is how it looks like once you brush it or clean it. You know what I'm saying knee. Put the bracket on now. And you come through with a new bracket. Like that. You know what I'm saying? Do the same with the other side, then grease it. Okay? Now come through with your bracket. Come on, I need another handle. Just put the ball there. You know what I'm saying? Put it there. It'll sit. Come through with the 18.
much that's it put your put your brake pads on just like that now you remember the inner brake pad has that clip okay we're gonna do the same for the clip put it like that all right now this is how it looks like just stop it though if you can do it with the hands put it in there and tap it now i'll put it just like that now right here we're gonna push this guy back you seen this guy before just like that but start turning it Turn it clockwise. This is how you're gonna start pushing the piston back. I call this guy the, the, the piston pusher. Out of mode. Push it all the way back, right? Put some grease here. The other side too. Now we put the caliper. Play like that. If these guys are dry, just lube it. Put it there. Put it there. Alright. Alright, now just tight it. <laughs> That's it, baby. That's how you do the front braids uh, in your. I'm gonna put in the description box the uh, the years of this generation, okay? But this is a 15 Jeep Compass. Huh? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I like your boy. Don't forget to uh, support the channel. Leave the tip on the table. I'm gonna see it again. Leave the tip on the table. All right. Any questions, anything you need to say, put it in the comment box for me. All right. Like, subscribe, share, hit the bell so every time I upload something new, you're going to be the first one to know. Catch me in the next one. I like your boy, a stool. I'm out deep. Yeah.